Superman 1978. I like this movie. I don't love it. I could definitely see why people back in the late 70s and maybe early 80s loved this movie. Kind of didn't expect it to go this way. In terms of how much Clark can we get in the very beginning, and then Lil Slane, and then Lex with hair. That's weird. And then that opening with jor -El and Zod. I thought Zod was going to be the villain of this movie, but I guess not. I guess the next movie, or maybe the third, will be like his return. Because he's stuck in the Phantom Zone and the Mirror thing, just like in Smallville. Girl banished him and his goonies because Trickerpton essentially the same thing like a man of scale. That little author, they can use that as a sequel. And then jor -El in the Kryptonian suit, really white with the black Superman symbol. Why is it so white? I don't know, but I do like the look. And like with every Superman story, it starts off with Krypton either dying or being destroyed by Brainiac or something happens to Krypton because it's a dying planet. While with Kansas, like with everything else, it meets the very old versions of versions of Jonathan and Martha Kent. Like they look really old because they were like, what, in the early 30s, right? They should be, I think. Or maybe they shouldn't, who knows. But when I imagine Martha and Jonathan, I imagine them being in their 30s. Early 30s, you thought like late 40s, early 50s. Clark Kent arrives there, they save the boy, they see the ship that probably will hide it, and they see him living this truck as this big moment. It's like, oh shit, yeah. Because they're gonna turn into Brightburn or it's gonna be really damn good. And so, one thing, one aspect I did not expect about this film is like, the first 40 ish minutes is Clark Kent growing up. Like, we don't actually see Superman until like halfway through, I think. Not expect at all because I thought we were immediately gonna get Superman at the beginning of the movie, but no. The beginning of the movie is like Krypton history, Jor El and Martha Kent dying from the explosion of Krypton, and then arriving in Smallville, meeting the Kents, and then seeing him grow up in high school, trying to get with Lana Lang, and then we see him running in a really wonky wire work running which you know i'll give it a pass as a 78 this version of small there's a lot of land i'm so, like wheat land i'm like god damn where did they find this it matches i guess but it's like so much land and hills as to be expected jonathan dies from like a heart attack right? knowing the loss of hay getting over it and then we cut to christopher reese's portrayal of superman with his goofy ass big glasses with his suit working at a daily planet and before moving on i did get a little bit sleepy in the middle chunk despite being over i think two hours long there's little things that happen you don't have lex low slang little car can't and then Superman slash Clark Kent and then draw stuff at the beginning and so when you have the middle part kind of I don't know dragging on especially with Lex's plan and Lois Lane stuff I just find myself a little bit sleepy I was like oh no I'm going to sleep hold on wake back up or maybe just maybe I'm just not into that maybe it's just me but I did get sleepy I was like god damn it I'm gonna get really sleepy so he meets Lois Lane at the daily planet like always and I think he decides to ask her see this is where it gets a little wonky because I was like oh yeah this has to happen I'm, I'm going to sleep I was like oh no I'm getting a little sleepy but essentially he asks her out and she wants to scoop on Superman. She's a reporter. She's gonna get the needy greedy things and all the details and whatnot. I think at one point at night she meets both Clark Kent and Superman. And so she he like leaves to go to the bathroom or something. And he comes over at Superman outside her balcony. He brings her up. They start flying around Metropolis and have you know romantic things. A bit boring on my part, but it's needed here. Brings her back to her apartment. Say their goodbye. And then he comes right back at Clark Kent. And he I think he's like about to tell her. And this scene like, hey, I am Superman. But then he's like the glasses back on. He didn't have the courage to do it. And again, there's a lot of things. And plot that are said to have like a sequel. I don't know if I didn't have a sequel, but like telling his secret, Phantom Zone was off. A lot of things were, it feels like the film was really good at setting up other things while having contained story within itself. Expecting more of her, like instead of having her be the love interest, like more of her like reporting stuff. And we got that with Superman, but things outside of Superman and Lois Lane, I thought there would have been more of that, maybe in the later movies. And then Lex Luthor with hair, I mean, poor Bro, the version of Lex is fine. It's whatever. Like, he has hair for some weird reason. He didn't have the whole bald head yet. He wants to, I think, destroy the world. He wants to get missed or something. It feels like generic bad guy villain, which is kind of disappointing because Lex is supposed to be like the smartest character to the Superman. But the only thing that he's smart about is that that green kryptonite affects Superman. That's it. He just does things for the sake of things. Like, there's a section of him and his people, black people within his bridge or something. Like, still, whatever. This scene could have been like cut 10 extra minutes and just have a five minute sequence. But stay has to be prolonged and whenever he took his wig off it's just like oh yeah this isn't lex i refuse to believe that this is lex luther and you know what that's all i got shit about lex because this is not lex he's not bald he's not villainous he's, he's not smart sounds like a generic 70s bad guy i feel like that's what it is i could be wrong on that myself haven't seen too much 70s films but i feel like what this movie is generic bad 70s bad guy and then christopher reeve superman i like this version so far harlow hecklin or maybe henry cavill might be still my favorite currently but i like this version kind of prototypical by the book's number superman fits the part 
he looks the part. Maybe, I don't know, there's some walkie acting here and there, but whatever. But as far as right now, I like him. And there's no issues. I hope there's no issues later on. I hope he just stays this way. Or maybe he can change here and there. I like him, but I'm not in love with Reese Superman just yet. And then that's it. That was Superman 1978, the very first. Oh, maybe first mainstream. Wait, hold on. Was 51 small man mainstream? I don't even know. God damn, I don't know how I'm talking about. Either way, Superman 1978 is pretty good. Yeah, it's still good, entertaining, good. Maybe some slow parts here and there, but so good. That's it for me. This has been The Road So Far, and thank you for watching. Thank you.